Let's go on to the field now. And the Fremantle's Dockers will aim to be at their miserly best tomorrow when they host the Brisbane Lions. For the visitors, it's a special occasion with one of the game's best credentialed, Simon Black, breaking the game's record. For Brizzy, Katie Price has this preview. Back to where it all began and the irony isn't lost on Simon Black. Queensland born, WA bred and breaking Brisbane's club record in Perth. I've always been in Queensland as long as, long as I have in, in, uh, I was in WA so people ask me are you Queensland or are you West Australian I'll always <laughs> be a proud sand graper. For the Eagles and Dockers he's the one that got away, overlooked at the draft, the Lions pounced. Now a Brownlow and Norm Smith medalist and three time Premiership star. For 16 years the club's been such a big part of my life so you know, I love the Brisbane Lions and um, they were you know, so good and drafted me back in 98. Something I suppose I'll cherish um, when I'm old and grey. He'll decide his future in the coming weeks, but it's expected tomorrow's clash against Frio will be his last in Perth. The Lions welcome back Daniel Rich and Matthew Lewenberger, although the Ruckman appears to still be struggling with a thumb injury. Rich returns after eight weeks out with the shoulder. He's such a, a great ball user with the foot in his hand, so we're going to try and get it to him as much as possible. He sets up our play so well and he's a obviously a terrific young talent for us. Black was front and centre today and will be again tomorrow and you can bet the Dockers own milestone man Ryan Crowley won't be far away. Very good diligent uh, disciplined player and um, he's another one of their experienced players It gives them a you know, it's probably a good barometer for them. The Dockers tagger preparing for game 150 and he's racked up just as many sweatbands. In fact you'd say he goes through them like they've gone out of fashion. I buy two new pairs for each game so I have uh, yeah one for for the first half and one for the second half. Yeah, and then I'll wear them for training during the week and then they're basically done. So yeah, I'm not sure how many is that worth, like 48, 48 odd pairs. Katie Price, 10 News.